want a skitchin bitch bring your cables or your lace come join us for a pack a face so hello everyone no nonsense <laughs> so anyway hi lauren and i are freshly on summer break which for her means a break yes and for me means yeah my normal mess is eight times the mess as it was and yeah you'll just have to deal with that so because you have two kids that are in your space all the time now three three oh yeah three yeah two of them are technically adults one will always be a kid the other one is just home and is going to work closing shifts so he is not he is not leaving my house much during the day <laughs> yes um so i went home to shower and he was in my shower well he was in his shower but you know whatever he does have a new hobby, though, that's going to take up some of his time. Yeah. So. so we went for his graduation present and 18-year-old birthday to Montreal for the week. And so we did lots of yarn shopping. And he said, hey, you could teach me how to knit. So I taught him how to knit. And he does it backwards, and it's weird. <laughs> um, I'm sitting here. I'm, like, futzing with my stuff because I don't normally look at myself. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> so we are on summer break. All right. We are using the time to do some test knitting. Which yeah. Is great fun. Yeah, I'm wearing the Galax Test Knit um, by Andrea Gone. It's really cute. And she is tiny, and I am not tiny, but I think it's kind of fun. It looks so cute. Yeah. I just need to, like, I'm supposed to do, so this is what we're going to lead into is, I'm supposed to do an I-cord pickup bind off thing applied i cord is what it's called -cord, yes and that's what lauren's doing now and i hate it like poison and i'm kind of watching her do it and she's picking up as she's going and that was one of my questions was do i need to pick up the stitches all the way around and then yep. do the bind off e well so you pick up as you go so you okay start with your i had to cast on four new stitches and then you pick up one from your project and um, yeah, pick up a knit from your project, and then I do a knit three, yeah. knit two together. So, so we'll do a closer up video and add that at the end. Yes, um, you can hear me swear because I hate it. I hate it so much. It's very putsy. Yes, and it's so it's so tedious. It's the same thing so many times, and like you have to pick it up in a specific place and make sure that it's all in the same place, and it's very annoying. And I hate it like poison. And it makes a nice finished edge. It looks edge. beautiful. It looks gorgeous. So I understand like, I don't why know people if you can really it. see that. Like it's very pretty, but it's just it's fussy. And some places will have you do it as the bind off. Some mm -hmm. places will do it as you're knitting. And I kind of prefer that because Yeah, it's it's so much easier to not have to pick up a stitch afterward, you know, like Mm -hmm. I, I really wish that this designer, who I love this skirt, it's very cute, and it, it turned out great, but now I'm on the I-cord bind off, or the applied I-cord, and I hate it. Um, and I'm like, I'm never going to wear this because I'm just mad at it. Um, I wish that she had started with a provisional cast on and then just kept those stitches live so you didn't have to mm. go and pick them up after. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Um, yeah, this one too, and it's like, this one's like thin lace weight so it's gonna be just yeah i've worn it three times like i love it and i'm thinking that i may just she's wearing it don't tell andrea <laughs> she may be mad well yeah as a test knitter i think you're supposed to do the entire pattern but... i know i have to because i think um i haven't looked at her worksheet yet that i have to fill out at the end mm -hmm. but i think she's gonna want to know how much yarn i have left over out yep. of the two skeins and I can't accurately tell her that if I don't do the bind off. But I've been wearing it, so. And it looks cute. As it is. is really cute. And I think based on the drape and how things are going, like, I knit it to gauge, and I had swatched and everything, but I just think I knew it was going to happen. But I think I would maybe even make it half a size, you know, like the size smaller mm -hmm. or something. I don't know. Yeah. But I love it. I would probably make another one. That's what I did with mine. I also did a test knit. Mm -hmm. um, I cast it on like May 27th, I think. 
and uh, I did the pollinator tank by Hook Mountain Handmade is her yes. at on Instagram, um, and I did it in uh, Madeline Tosh that you may have seen the very very first episode because <laughs> I was working on my music note sweater at that oh, time. Oh yeah, that's right. And it's the yep. same yarn. Um, it's worsted weight, and so it knits up super super quick. And it's got this lovely little. You can't really. Mm, okay, never. It's yeah, really it cute. Awkward. It's got really cute like lace detailing on the sides. Like, they're these little, it's called the pollinator tank because they look like little butterflies or bees. And it's very cute, and I like it a lot. And I liked it so much that I made a second one that I'm wearing today in some La Vianame Helix. Held double, and then actually technically held triple because also with uh, some mohair. And so that gave me the worsted weight that I needed because Felix is a very light fingering. Yeah. So. I love the color, and this turned out so great. Um, so I'm staring at my phone because we took some pictures on Saturday together of our test knits. And so I was just downloading them and sending them to Lauren so that she has them. Yeah. So I can put them on my Ravelry page and Same. the designer can utilize them as she sees fit. So, yeah. yeah. Also in Adventures Today. So I'm going to String Theory today to see... JP knits things and I'm just looking up now because I haven't looked at what actually <laughs> <laughs> anyway so much planning goes into maybe, everything maybe you're going to really. do a thing no I'm doing a thing <laughs> I just I'm not sure what her presentation is hmm. because I was invited by our friend mm -hmm. and I'm very excited to go, but I was just curious if it says what, like, what her talk is. It's Meet the Designers today, and they'll be talking about sweater fit and yarn substitution, which is Fun. what I need. This useful. Is what, yeah, it is. That's um, very useful information. <laughs> it is, and I think it'll be interesting. Um, so we're going to... Glen Ellen, Illinois, to th String Theory, which you and I went to last summer. Mm -hmm yarn crawl adventure yeah so Grand theory was our first stop actually yeah i was gonna say it. it's like it was it's a great shop mm -hmm. but i haven't been back there personally hi i have online shopped there once more but because um, i ran out of that yellow that i oh, made for yeah. my chevron sweater and i was like oh my gosh and they happen to have that color and only oh, that color left yeah. so yeah. i was really lucky and they were wonderful so while I was in Montreal, we went to everyone's favorite um, yarn shop, La Espace Trico. And I was trying to find stuff that I can't get here, but I order on their website all the time. So I bought some Bar a Trico yarn in a fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy purple. Mm -hmm. And this one hand dyed it's mohair it does not say one of them said where it was dyed and it was dyed in Ontario um, this is Julie Asselin which all of Julie Asselin yarns are beautiful yes this one is Drake Moondrake Moondrake company was it this one that said it was dyed there I don't remember one of them did but then I got this They're one based in, in Oklahoma City so I would say yeah. probably not and I order from their website all the time and then the Bone Trico Happy Time Bliss Mohair. So pretty. So I got all these different. Oh no! I keep looking at myself and then I go the wrong direction. <laughs> so I got all these different purples. And I have a redder one of a thin mohair as well. And I don't know what I'm going to make. I think I'm going to just like mush them all together and make like a big fluffy shawl, shawl or something. But those will probably go in the stash for a while because I don't have an actual plan. But they're pretty and squishable. And so then I went important. to the Maison Trico Tea, which, look, I bought the bag. It's so pretty. So the teal is kind of their color. Gorgeous, gorgeous shop. It's painted teal on the outside. Love. And I bought this Anilia and Philomene Simone linen so pretty. which matches up my sofa like perfectly 
Um, and I thought I would make this the all faux sweater. I don't think you'll be able to see this picture quite as well on here, but it's got like little acorns in the, like the little lace acorn pattern. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I thought that would be really cute. And I just make a little linen t-shirt out of that once I finish my tank top that I'm, it's not quite up yet. Yes. You're so close to finish. So close. And if I finish it today before I see Kirsten, I can just hand it over and let her and leave in all the ends. Even all the ends. What is this one called? Do you remember? Afterglow. Afterglow. Ugh. So after making this tiny little tank top, I was laughing because as I was doing the bust darts for the afterglow top, the way she told me to do it, I was like, it's already bigger than the whole other sweater that I'm making. But look at this, guys. It's a tunic shape, and it should fit just amazingly perfect. And then I'm trying to finish the amount of rows that she's telling me to do, but it seems weird because the one I'm wearing is so tiny. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And it's that will look so nice under a cardigan. It's smushy. Yeah, and then I want to make the matching shift again. Shift again to go over the top. Yeah. And then I have like 85 other things and I need to <laughs> stop. But I, I understand. I have committed to not casting on anything new until my my moon break co yarn gets here. Yeah. I, which is why you're doing your bind off. Yes. Smart. I ordered, because um, I am test knitting for Alicia Plummer, which I'm Ooh, very excited very about. Very exciting. I love her patterns. All of her patterns are beautiful. And I love, like, she has so much texture and puts a lot of thought in her designs. Yeah. I think all designers do, but, you know, I just happen to love, like, every single one of hers. Um, and so when a test knit came up for her. She did the campfire, yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, she is the, the brilliant mind behind the campfire series and uh there was like a bibliophile sweater that's beautiful oh and, nice yeah just really she's she's got lovely designs um but she posted on instagram that she was looking for <coughs> knitters, and uh she recommended this hua hua from moondrake co which is 70 percent cashmere and 30 percent merino oh that would be pretty and i twisted my own arm so hard to buy that because yeah. um, it was also 10% off for test knitters. So I was like, yep, I'm actually going to use the recommended yarn this time because pretty. Yeah, that's so, going to be awesome. This Fua Fua tea that I'm test knitting for, I will be posting on my Instagram as it comes along. And I yeah. got it this lovely kind of purpley, periwinkly color, and it's so pretty. Yeah, so that's nice. awesome. We do like the purple. I'm like, look at this. Purple yes. and teal and purple and teal. <laughs> And then Lauren, every once in a while, throws in an orange. Yeah, this was, it leans more pink. I kind of it's like the really, kind of I love corally. how it goes with the skirt, too. Yes. It's perfect. Pink skirt on, so I, I do a lot of, like, coral and, like, mint green kind of colors. Yeah. So those are those are kind of my vibe. They, I think they go together nicely, so I wear a lot of coral and a lot of mint and teal turquoise kind of colors. Yeah. So I'm excited. But, I, yeah, I like purple. I, love I purple. also decided to throw back in... I made a, I think it's best, it's not best, but it's, um, the sweater I had made for myself that I absolutely adore, and I'm going to make one for Isaac's friend, Vega. So the Vega sweater, um, okay. customized with little crow skulls. So here's the, here's <laughs> the original Vega sweater, and it's just like a cropped little sweater and it's got like a detail on the sleeve and then um someone who i should really give her credit because she's amazing um did it with little crow skulls I don't know. she customized it and then i i copied her <laughs> and i love it and i'm gonna make a tiny one for isaac's little friend because she is wee and yes. i should be able to finish it very quickly she is very very small. She's she's short and and like skinny. Yeah, she's she's petite and so yeah. So thirty five dollars. That is the amount of yarn steal. I needed. Right. I can't <laughs> I can't buy one skein for thirty five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> half the time. Yep. And then I need like lots of them because well no 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 no. Yeah. 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 And that's fine. That's I needed three skeins from for my next test knit. 
okay. and that was only I think I think she recommended it'll take like 700 yards and so it's a okay. little more than 700 that I wound up ordering because yeah I was like well I might be able to risk it with just two skeins but it's gonna be cutting it close I know so. and then there's there's a couple of things I want to make and I'm like I know I could probably go down and shop my stash but Sometimes it's like, but I want exactly the right color, mm-hmm. and exact. And so then it's like, then I do it, and then I don't have time to make it, and then yeah. it ends up in my stash anyway. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I wasn't sure what kind of yarn I was going to use for this test knit because I also could have used the what I bought for this. Um, yeah, and I think it would have been fine because it's also a light lace or light fingering weight. Yeah, um, so it would have worked, but I was but like, I really, really love like the the. The dye colors in Mundrake Co. are beautiful. Yeah. I had a hard time when I was shopping for this stuff because I kind of wanted them to go together. And they just, I also, I don't lend towards pastels often. Mm-hmm. So I kind of wanted something darker, but I think I've got it in my stash. That, yeah. That I can then mix it up. Yeah. I was thinking like one of those like arrow shaped shawls maybe I don't know. yeah or maybe like some chevron kind of yeah something like that where there's just like a little bit of texture but I can do like big chunks of color mm-hmm. instead of instead of just stripey yeah that would be cute yeah and then with the thinner one I might do like a lacy panel in between or something love that we'll see yeah that would be lovely we'll see we'll see if I ever get it right <laughs> you can just design your own yeah pretty much yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. As long as there's not math. Mm, mathing. Mathing is hard. Yeah, I hate math. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So what else is uh, going on? We've got, I've got crepes, you've got... I've got a husband who's home um, and yeah. crabby. <laughs> so yeah. he's playing catch up and is mad about all the things. So that's what I'm dealing with. But yeah. aside from that, I'm on summer break, and summer break, my brain gets to rest awesome. for like the first week, and I am two days in now, so. Good. Because um, we had our last day on Friday, so this whole first week is just going to be like binging stupid TV shows. I started Yellow Jackets yesterday. Oh, and it is surprisingly watchable. Yeah, like, it's really good, isn't it? And the music's yeah. great. Oh, the music's fantastic because it's like all eighties, early, early ni- or late mid nineties. Like, yeah, it's great. It's great, um, and it's like weird shit is happening, but you know, I can ignore it the stupid, to the be stupid weird shit. paranormal shit. But um, yeah, I started the new Outlander is out. Mm, yes, but that one's only one a week, and so you know. I have some time before I watch more of that. Yeah. And then... So is that a new series or just a new season? New season. I think it's season seven or eight. Okay. Because there are an ass load of those books, so I don't know how long it's going to be running to. I think I read the second, first and second books and then stopped. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty. It's eye candy. It is very pretty. I have, I've watched, I think, a season of that and it is, it's beautifully. Yeah. It makes me want to go to Scotland. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and then the new Wednesday is coming out, I think, next month. I didn't know that, but that's exciting. And I think we get next month new What We Do in the Shadows. Mm, I don't watch that one. <laughs> too that soap show. opera-y for me. Really? The vampires are too soap yeah, opera It's just, it's, it's very so, like... I don't know, I they don't make know. me laugh. I don't know. It seems a little soapy to me. <laughs> it kind of is. They're ridiculous. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I watch those and those make me giggle. And then... Yeah, I don't know, like, as much as I don't watch a ton of TV during the school year, like, summer right now, I'm just, I'm seriously still it's in an shell escape. shock. Well, I don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I literally, I went to my house and I'm like, it's a mess. Mm, and that makes me want to scream. And Allie last night got up and I had set a styrofoam smoothie cup. Oh, dear next to the sink because oh yeah I have children and they're home and they don't clean mm-hmm. and so the side that I dump stuff into the garbage disposal had dishes in it so I didn't dump my cup so my cup was sitting there and Allie got up at 2 o'clock in the morning well first she was up at 11 she let herself out into the garage and into my car oh no 
and was in the car and couldn't get out when oh, Isaac got home from work. Oh, jeez. And so Isaac got her out of the car and let her in and locked the garage door. Because that's why it wasn't locked, mm-hmm. is because he... Was on his way home. Was on his way home. So then she went back to bed, and then she got up at 1 or 2 and grabbed that cup and threw it on the floor so it was a smoothie everywhere. Right. <clears throat> so the floor is very sticky. And I have to... I ha- I have to, because no one else is going to do it. Find time to go home and mop it. Yep. I and was getting a lot of frustration this summer break. Is like I want to just like yeah. rest at least for like a week because like oh for sure teacher brain and teacher burnout is so like it's indescribable for people who aren't like in a caregiving profession like yeah it is literally you give your entire life mm-hmm. to your job and then you come home with nothing left yeah and so like you need some time to recover but. Also, my house is a goddamn mess because it's been the last couple of weeks that yes. I haven't really been, I haven't had the energy to clean. Right. And uh, my husband's busy and, and does it, also doesn't really clean. So. Does it wear on you? Like, do you have a hard time being there? Yeah. With it messy? Yeah. It's very much like, it's like a zoo a little bit. You know how like when in zoos, like if uh, an enclosure is too cluttered or too like cloistered yeah. and the animals start to get upset. The tiger is upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. that, that's how I am. Like, I feel like I can't sit down and relax because I just keep seeing yep. everything that I need to do. Yep. And then it's like, I, I do. I start getting really yep. crabby. And there's other people in my house. Yep. And I can't, I can't delegate in a reasonable way. Yep. And I can't just have it not be done. Mm-hmm. And so then I start doing it and then they get mad at me because... I'm stressing them out. Yeah. Well, see, and that's, I get that from their perspective, too. Because, like, when my husband right. finally breaks down and starts to clean, it is very stressful because, like, right. he's upset that he's let it get that way. And, like, he's like, well, I'm never going to be good at doing anything. And so, like, the tension is really high. Yeah. But he also gets pissed at me if I clean first because then I'm right. because taking then the opportunity him. Right. from him to do something. Yeah. So I can't win one way or another. Um which is very frustrating. My coping mechanism for being in my house at this point has been to be playing a lot of Zelda because then I'm staring at a screen instead of all the shit that's around my house. Right. And Jay, <laughs> Jay has his own space upstairs with a door, so he can go in there and like do that all day. And then he generally has been doing the dinner cooking and mm-hmm. cleans the kitchen. Yes. But that just leaves like most of the other stuff to him. The dog... Mm-hmm the cat Mm -hmm. the garbage didn't get taken out last week while Mm -hmm. I was gone so it's overflowing so I have to wait for the garbage men to come tomorrow morning in order to have room to put stuff out of the house again and so like I'm like okay I'm leaving bye so I just like left today and can't do it and the kids have been great about helping if I ask them to but, but that's again, another layer of like right, emotional the, labor that you need yes. to, to have to do. Yes. To delegate. The, the being able to delegate and then being patient and letting them do it mm-hmm. instead of being like, hey, I asked you to do that. Why isn't it done yet? Yep. And freaking out again. Well, because if they're waiting too long, then it's like, fine, I'll just do it my goddamn self. <laughs> like, well, right, but I don't, like, I still also have. Mm-hmm. So I get up in the morning and drive Allie and I have Allie overnight and therefore I don't sleep and yeah it's just like ah and then by the time they get up and they want rides places because the kids don't drive yet so then it's just like and then they're like well why are you crabby at me um (laughs) they do all the things and I I finally just hit a breaking point to just have a schedule of my own and not and it'll happen yes It'll happen. Aiden's going to go to camp for a month. Occasionally she goes to her other house. I've got Allie's schedule almost worked out, but that's the other thing I have to, like, I have to, like, map out Allie's whole schedule and then do her budget. Yes. And that's math. Yeah, and mapping is hard. It is. I don't have to do math in the summer. Lucky. I mean, I do have to do my own personal budget because teacher life and yeah. 
can't spend money as much as I regularly do <laughs> um, because I don't get paid in the summers. Right, but so. also you're not as stressed, so you don't have stress shopping. Yeah, that's also true. I just, I have. I have to balance my stress shopping with Aiden's stress shopping. <laughs> as we got over here, Lauren and I were in the drive and I was getting text messages about, hey, I need these swimsuits for camp. Hey, I need this bag for camp. Hey, by the way, I need shorts for camp. Yeah, she asked me if I wanted a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I would happily sell her for $2. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't even cover the shipping. <laughs> and the thing, but partially she also knows, like, my weakness is, is if she gives me all the information, it, I have an easier time just, like, ordering it online mm-hmm. and having it shipped to the house than, like, going with her to the mall. Right. Because, oh, I just love it. <laughs> but, like... Yeah, you don't need new shit for every experience either. No, but also, like, I know that at 14, like, your body changes. Mm -hmm. So she does need, like, a decent, modest swimsuit for when they do, um, they do water sports at her camp. I love that. Yeah, so she gets to do, um, water skiing, they do tubing behind a boat and stuff, Mm -hmm. so she can always be wearing her skimpy, yeah. (laughs) Can be little two pieces. Yep. And as that is a boob splash waiting to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're lucky if it's just a boob at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, she also like, you know, will use five swimsuits a week because we're in and out of the water. Oh yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. It just it's just stressful. I, I tell Jenna a lot that um her situation is very good birth control. Yes. I tell people all the time. It's like, hey, by the way, your birth control only works as well as your future spouse. Because, <laughs> yeah, mine are all stepkids. Yep. But they're awesome. I mean, I will miss them when they're gone. And even the driving, I was telling one of the moms this week, I was like, you know, I don't really want her to just have complete freedom and not need me to drive her either Mm -hmm. so I need to just relax and yeah there is sort of a level of control that you still have when they're not driving right and I know who her friends are if I Mm -hmm. you know if I'm driving her friends home you know I know who they are the parents know that I'm present and can you know reach out if anything's going on that I need to know about Yeah. Really it's grateful not to have children. I feel really like, grateful. I feel like an Uber, but I'm not getting paid. Yeah, that's a... You, you would be making some, some bank if you were actually right? an Uber driver for them. And then I could play my music and not theirs. <laughs> Ooh, but also Father's Day, we went to the record store, mm-hmm. and that was pretty fun because Aiden and Jay and I each picked out records. Isaac didn't pick out any, but... It's kind of fun, like, now that she's got opinions about music Mm -hmm. and her media and stuff. So that's really fun. Nice. And she's like, oh, I'll listen to that one, too. Love that. Yeah. So We spent Father's Day at the Beer Garden. Fun. Yeah. And we took our dog there, and then I had to call my dad. (laughs) And that's always a battle. (laughs) Like, my stepdad's very awkward on the phone and is, like, very kind of abrupt. He's, he's a veterinarian and is very much like a, mm-hmm. what do you need, <laughs> kind of person. Um, he's yeah. he's lovely. He's a great human. Um, and my dad doesn't shut the fuck up. So. That's funny. And my dad, <laughs> I saw my parents yesterday, and my dad was got a new kayak and was talking about his kayak. Aww. And they were in the car, ready to pull away. And my mom's like, mm-hmm. And he just kept talking yep. and talking. Yeah, I was very much that way on the phone. We started with Happy Father's Day. I want to do golfing, something, something, golf ball, because I got a golf ball for Father's Day. Yeah, fun. And then by the end of it, we had meandered into, like, teaching legislation and the book oh, bans and gender bans and shit. I was I like, how it. did we get here? That's awesome. I would like to go now. We've been on the phone for 40 minutes. Yeah, my dad wants me to use my cricket and make him a skull. Mm-hmm. sticker for his kayak oh fun i love that and my mother was rolling her eyes and my dad's like 
And then she told me I couldn't have a skull and crossbones. So just a skull. Ha! Ah! Like, how is that better? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fully <sighs> on board with having the piratiest kayak ever, but apparently my mother is not. Put a pirate hat on this day. Right? Something for me. A pirate hat. So I have to sit down with him and let him try to pick a <laughs> skully that. shape or... I don't know. It'll be fun. I'm excited. That's delightful. I love it. Yeah. I told him we could put a name on there, too, like if he wants to name his kayak. Mm-hmm. So. My stepdad's also a big kayaker. Is he? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, my dad started a couple of years ago, and he takes his kayak in the house so he can practice getting in and out of it. That's adorable. It is adorable. That might be the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, Mom, like, seriously, don't fight with him, like. Any movement is good. Yes, and it's really good exercise. I mean, it is. It's a yeah, kind of once cardio we workout. So once we actually get out on the water, I have a three-piece click together um, tandem kayak for me and Allie. Mm-hmm. That's really fun too, because then she just loves it. That's delightful. Does she? How does she get in and out of it? Does she do okay? Oh no, I have to help her. Okay, I was like, so yeah, I, I struggle getting in and out of a kayak. Right. So. So doing any of that kind of stuff, I generally need at least one other person to help Mm -hmm. because then it's like we get her in and I get in and then like someone has to help us like shove off. Yeah, that makes sense. But once we're on the water, like she's totally happy and she loves it. That's amazing. I think last summer we did it and took honey. Oh. (laughs) So that I have Allie and honey in a kayak. How did honey deal with it? Titus does not like the Um, water if he's not in charge. (laughs) She didn't mind like sitting on my lap and being in the boat. But she did not, she doesn't love swimming. Like, yeah. she gets so waterlogged. And then she was sitting there and shivering. Oh. It was horrible. Poor baby. Yeah, Titus doesn't really do water unless, like, he's yeah. the one who leads the charge. Like, I think I've seen him jump into a river once oh, at a dog funny. park. Um, and every other time he's like, scary. Do not bite. And he'll yeah. put, like, a paw in and then take it out. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so he's a hoot and a half. Yeah, Honey loves going in the car. So yeah, Titus is a big car rider. We drive, and she walk. sits like, okay, I'm looking at myself opposite, mm. but she sits here on this side, and like, she literally like sits her little tush on my belly, <laughs> and then I put my hand over the window things, and she puts her feet here, and she just sits there like, okay, <laughs> where are we going? What are we doing? Yeah, it's like, she was very. Jay said she was very depressed when I was on my trip. He's like, they she do won't really move. attach. They attach to their owners. Yeah. He's like, she won't move. She won't walk down the stairs. She won't, you know, he's like, she's just sitting here. I'm like, yeah, she's probably just waiting for me to come home. Yes. Did you finish and now we can't even record? Oh, God, no. No, I'm like, I think I finally hit the halfway point. (laughs) I'm just, I'm just past the halfway point. I'm very excited. That's awesome. (laughs) And she's making the, the wraparound skirt. Yes. By. Shana K. Salmon. Shana. I need to meet her. Yeah. They're just adorable. Yeah, it is very cute. I like I also have to do a twenty ish inch I cord like for the tie. I have to do two of those and then I have to do more applied I cord to attach them and I hate it. <laughs> um, I have got a little knitting machine. Yeah, I have an I cord maker too. that I will I will be cheating with on the little I cord cord part, but then I also have to do the applied I cord to attach it and I'm gonna be mad yeah. about it. Fun. So. But honestly, like, I would almost rather make, like, I-cord than to do a little flat stitch. It, like, because, like, these, like, the little strap, it's mm-hmm. just like, oh. Yeah, this, actually, this was really cute. It, the design is, like, a slip, no, yeah, you, like, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit to set it up, and then you do, like, a knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, so it looks like an I-cord, but it's not yeah. an I-cord. Oh, that's and cute. It's very, it looks very cute and very, like, professionally yeah, I like it, finished. Mine, like, rolls up, and it'll roll up less mm-hmm. once I have the I-cord on there, mm-hmm. but, and I think I'm going to shorten it a little, because yeah. I had lengthened it a little, and now I think I need to shorten it back, mm-hmm. which is fine, because these are the things that we need to know when we make a test knit. I should have yeah. just followed my directions and not done it the way I wanted. But to be fair, designers are always like, hey, straps are really adjustable, like length right. is always really adjustable, but, it's to your taste. And right. so like, you don't quite it. know unless you're trying it on every two seconds. To... And I did a silk linen, and I think she, I'm trying to remember what her recommended was, knitting for olive silk, I think. 
So so the drape's going to be a little different. Yeah. And, yeah, it's very drapey, which is fun. But I need to support my niece quite a bit, I think. Mm -hmm. I'll adjust it. And then it'll be perfect. And then I'll have to make another one because I'll wear it too much. It's very cute. I like it. I love it. I love that panel in the front. It's just, it's yeah. just Yeah. And perfect. the panel goes down the back, too. Mm -hmm. And my other tank that I wore last time, I had twice as much yarn as I needed. I bought their kit. Yeah. And I made it shorter, um, but I had exactly two skeins that I used, and I have exactly two skeins left. So I'm going to give them to Kirsten, and she's going to make the tank top, too. Yay! Yeah. Because Kirsten's also teeny tiny and will not need very right. much. <laughs> but she's tall. She has, yeah, she's got a very long torso. So I'm thinking, like, it might just work out perfect where mm -hmm. her diameter is smaller, but she might make it longer, and it'll mm -hmm. be perfect. Yeah. It'll be super cute. Although she also wears really cute crappy things and has her back. You're like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to see my belly. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm going to make maybe another tank top or two. Our local yarn store is doing their, what are they calling it? Their knit thing with pizza. Oh, make it. Their make it program. It's like yeah. the book it program, but with knitting. Yeah. So Very we're going to, we're, we both signed up for the make it yes oh and i need to i need to get a little punch on mine for my yeah my top that i made because you're supposed to use yarn from their shop and so. they're very cute because you can either like tag them on instagram or send her an email or stop in the shop mm -hmm. so yeah i've got one done for the top but they've got four categories so you have to do like a top a headband hat or, or hat. something for your head yep uh Sock. Yeah, socks and I think an accessory. Was that the last one? I can't remember the last one. Yeah, I'll Google it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's very cute. If you look up Cream City Yarns Make It program, then you can find out all that information. But they are delightful, and I think that's such a good idea. Well, and it's just fun. And then and you the get pizza is amazing. Yeah, it's so... from Y East Pizza in uh, Wauwatosa, yeah. and they use like a sourdough crust. It's awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. But so I've got one done, and I've got yarn for a hat. Otherwise, there was the new um, accessory patterns from, is it, it wasn't Tin Canvas, was it? Did you make those last week? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just a mess. Um, I had everything printed because I print a lot of things at home. But there was, like, a cute set of, oh, here. It is. Hair Accessories Cottage by Wool and Pine. Oh. Right? Like, it's like, oh, yeah. I love their stuff. Yeah, their stuff is great. So they've got, like, a little, like, am I cute? This way. Ooh, little hair ties. Oh, those are adorable. So that's one. And then, yeah, that would work. Here they've got it in different shapes and they've got scrunchies little bows so cute. I was thinking if I really get stuck instead of making a whole hat I can use any kind of leftovers and make little little cutesy hair things scarves, shawls, and cowls was the last category boy sweaters or tops, hats or headbands, socks or leg warmers and scarves, or ca scarves shawls, or cowls nice so I maybe will whip up my... Oh, wait, that's not from their yarn shop. Yeah, they don't... I don't think technically say that it has to be... Oh, yeah, there, there it is. All projects should be done in yarn from Cream City Yarn. Fair enough. I'll yeah. Tell you now. It's and I've got thingy. the clog socks that they had done a class is worsted weight. Mm -hmm. And so I've got that pattern. I think I might do socks out of the... Send me that pattern because that was really cool. Yeah. So, like, tell me what, what, what yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, give me the information for it. Yes, that. I will get you the information. That's and wrong. <laughs> right. But yeah, they're called clog sacks. I don't remember who did them, but they were really cute. And I've got, I know I've got <clears throat> random worsted weight that I can just. Yeah, I've got, I'm sure I've gotten some from Cream City Yarn that I have. Mm -hmm. So I'll whip those up. Yep. I have and tons of fingering weight yarn from there and sock yarn from there too. So I could just do a pair of socks yeah. as well because they knit up quick. I usually knit socks two at a time. So. 
those hey. come out pretty quick. I do not. Although if I get really motivated, I do have a soft beach and I have to take it out. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. Hmm? I probably will not take out my soft beach in the summer. That's a lot. Yeah. I have to do some spinning this summer. That is my big goal is to finish um, spinning my friend's dog fur into yarn. Oh, yeah. Fun. So that is, that is my goal this summer. That's what I will eventually be getting into. But got to get through a test nip. Yes. Yeah, we're in opposite land. I can think cord. about those things in October. Fair. <laughs> yeah. I can't because oh my, my life is busy. I'm so bummed. I was looking at the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival yes. classes. And they have an all-day class about Angora. Oh, fun. And, like, you know, the different breeds and things and how to identify and all that. I was like, that looks like a really interesting class. And it's on Thursday. Thursday, oh. September 9th. So it's the first Thursday of school. Oh, God. So guess who yeah. can't go? <laughs> yeah, my mom and I were looking at one, and it's, like, natural dyeing of fabric or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. And you have to bring, like, your own plants that you want to do it with. Mm-hmm. I love that idea. That yeah. Like but I don't think we're going to do that because I think I'd rather shop on Saturday. Yeah, that's fair. I would happily take a weekday class versus... Yeah. I wish I could. Like, I wish I could justify, hey, I'm going to the Sheep and Wool Festival on right. the, in the first week of school. I don't think that they would like that very no, much, that though. that probably won't work. I don't think I made it last year. I don't remember where I was, but I think the Ren Fair was just ending. Mm-hmm. And I maybe was just overwhelmed or didn't have a sitter. I did not go last year either because I had been to too many yarny things. Because I went to SSK last year. Yep. And I went to the Chicago Yarn Crawl. And I was like, this is not in my budget. Oh, and how much of that yarn from last year have we knit yet? Almost all of it. You want some to buy for <laughs> I was like, I think I have one uh-huh. one set that I didn't do the project for yet. I'm going to do the Wildflowers Blossom Magic. Oh, fun. Um bamboo silk what is it called kobasi um okay cotton bamboo silk combination i haven't done that one yet but i think every, everything else i i knit that i wanted to knit you are on that trip, doing so. way <laughs> way better than me yeah <laughs> i was like don't ask me that question you're gonna be upset with the answer <laughs> yeah i mean i've been knitting a lot of things but you have i have not even hardly touched yarn crawl stash yarn crawl stash That's oh okay. my gosh although if I have to make a shawl or something, I have to figure that out because I don't really want to do a five skein shawl. Figure out something smaller. Mm-hmm. Cowl? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I just have to figure it out because my brain right now is just on summer knitting and tank tops and linen mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. silk. And I've I got understand. like five or six of those and there's no way I'm going to get five or six done this summer. And right. make a shawl and make socks and make a hat and go on a trip and <laughs> camp and Same. yeah. I think I might do a I don't think I'm gonna do a hat because I don't wear a ton of hats. I think I might do I've seen those little like headbands that are super cute. Yeah, yeah. Um not head oh, what am I thinking? Scarf, like a scarf. Yeah, shape. like a head scarf, like a handkerchief. Yeah, I think that'd be Very cute. Very cute. Did you see the one that um Gotham Knits did this week? Yes. Too cute. Yeah, so hers is like a stripey a new pattern by someone and she did it in like a silk linen mm-hmm. yeah i was tempted but love that so yeah but i think that i think that stuff i can definitely knit out of my stash and also nicole can't complain about me not buying her yarn from <laughs> because let me tell you how much yarn i bought from her shop this year yes or the last two weeks so much so much well i went there to buy lily's birthday present yep and accidentally bought too much yarn again <laughs> well this color right the labiana me blue royal they had in the bulky and she's like oh by the way we won't be getting any more of this <laughs> we, we can't buy more of it for a year and i was like so i bought five of those in bulky not knowing what i wanted maybe i should make a cowl out of that maybe i should blend that Ooh, with that this. would be pretty i don't know yeah i don't know but I do have it because nobody else can have it. It's for me. Yeah. Which is probably not the right, <laughs> right reason to buy yarn. But it's kind of my color. Nobody else can have it. Well, and I'm sure Nicole probably thought it was for you in mind. So Actually, she didn't. She thought no, I liked surprise. the other purple. Oh, that's right. That's right. And so I did buy maybe two sweater quantities of the other purple as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
it's yeah, it's not it's not right. I need to stop. It's okay. Or I need to stay home and knit and not have to drive my kids around because <laughs> knitting and driving apparently isn't allowed. Yes. I mean it is. I, I have some good advice for anyone who may see this and it's don't knit in the back of a lift. Because you will stab yourself with your needles multiple times. Oh, I would get motion sickness and vomit. Oh, okay. Well, mine was the the driver was this is the same driver who happened to return my cell phone, so I oh, shouldn't gosh. talk shit about him. But oh my god, was he kind of crazy? He was like yeah. swerving in and out and like trying to get me there as fast Ooh. as humanly possible. I was like, my dude, it's not a race, <laughs> right? And he was blaring Jesus music the whole time. Oh, that's funny. Then yeah, I we left did. my phone in the back of his car, and then he had to bring it back to me. Yeah, so. we did Ubers the whole time in Montreal. But, like, it was funny because everything was, like, a 10-minute drive from where we were. Mm-hmm. And so 10 minutes isn't quite enough time to take stuff out. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we were on Gramamine the whole Smart. trip because I get motion sick really bad. Yep. I yep. may get to knit at Six Flags this week. Nice! Yeah, because I'm taking... I think on Thursday, Aiden and her friends, and that means that hopefully I don't actually have to go on any rides, Mm -hmm. and I can sit on a bench with a coffee or something. That sounds delightful. Kind of. Another year or two, and they won't need me at all, hopefully. (laughs) If you need a friend, and you want to commiserate with the teenagers. Right? Well, it's... (laughs) But it's like, it's... Like forty dollars or sixty dollars or something, they still come out to get in. Crazy. Yeah, and so we've got season passes, mm-hmm. and I think Aiden's friend can get an end of line pass. Oh, okay. So, like, I hope they can just like pick a spot. Although I have to say, they don't have actual comfortable spots. Mm-hmm. Like they should, they should have like a. Yeah, they should have lounge. like lovely, like shaded benches. Yeah. <laughs> Cushion seats. Right. Well, maybe I should buy a cushion. Oh, there you go. For my old bones. Yeah, but so I think I'll do that. Usually Jay goes. He loves roller coasters. Mm. And then I go on rides with him, but... With your motion sickness? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just live on Gramamine in the summer. Fair. Boats. It's like, hi, let's go on vacation. Let's go on a boat. Mm, mm. Yeah. Michael's a big sailor, and... I enjoy the sailing part. I don't enjoy the, I feel so nauseated, I am going to throw up part. Yeah. Cars, that doesn't happen with me with, uh, unless there's lots of like stops and starts and stops and starts, because yeah. then it starts to feel like a damn boat. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't honestly, do the bus very well either. <laughs> I get motion sickness in movies. Weird. I can't play video games. Okay. Because of the movement on the screen, mm-hmm. like, ugh. Movies is next level. Yeah, it, it really is. It's terrible, but that's okay. Yes. Because then I don't have to. Yes. Happy summer. <laughs> then I will just knit and sit by the pool and sit in my yard with my dog who is currently sleeping finally. Such a good boy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think that's all I've got. That's all I just, I've got too. We just my need brain to is slow down. turned off now and I'm not, yeah. I'm not doing the right. stress at we the moment. We started out so stressed and now we're just <sighs> so much better. Take a break. <laughs> yes. Good. Well, I hope everybody out there has a great knitting week. And a happy Pride Month. Yep. Enjoy and the remainder. Who knows what we're going to do next month? I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. We'll figure it out. Or not. It'll happen either way. <laughs> yeah. We'll record at Colleen's ah. pool. It'll be great. Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. We're crashing our friend's pool on Sunday. Is it this week? Next week? No, it's two weeks, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. July 2nd. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go crash our friend's pool, and that will be fun. Yes. So maybe we'll do a, a record from there. Oh, we'll that, see. That'll be crazy, because I'll have Allie with me, and you will get to see exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the chaos of life. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. She's, she's been in a really good mood, but she, like, is very grabby. And she will want to know what's on the video screen, and mm-hmm. we'll come up and check it. That's okay. So, mm-hmm. yeah, stay tuned. We're going to show you some applied eye cord and... Yeah, I yeah. will record that and we'll get it all put together. All right. All right, guys. Have a great week slash month. Yeah. Bye, Bye, everybody. See you next time. All right. So we are doing the applied eye cord today. And I've obviously already started because I've got 
a solid chunk of this all done. It's all rolly right now, but I will eventually block it out. It leaves this lovely finished edge, but it's also a little fussy. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you take, you'll eventually, at the beginning you'll have to cast on four extra stitches so that you have your eye cord set up. But once you have those on, then you're going to pick up a new stitch in the first row of your project, not from the cast on edge, which is a little annoying. So you have to like find where your loop is from your first actual row, mine's about here, grab it, pick up a knit, that's where it starts that little I cord, and then I'm going to knit three, maybe, there we go, one, two, three, and then you're going to knit those last two together. And that creates that lovely little finished edge. I want to turn it this way because in my <laughs> brain it's like that's looking backwards. Just do another one. And then you Just do the same thing there. again. So grab your next loop. Maybe this is the fussy part of it, where it's like you have to find the loops that you need, which is irritating and frustrating, and sometimes they don't want to come out. Pick that up and knit it. Then you knit your three. One, two, three. And then you knit your two together. And that gives you this lovely little I cord finished awesome. edge. So. And then you're using double points, so you're just sliding them on the double point instead of putting them onto the other needle, correct? Yes, I think that that's easiest. Um, that way I can just slide them back and forth instead of having to, like, um, switch them back and forth to the, the other needles. So yeah, perfect. that is my preferred method. So hope I've helped with a very fussy little cast-off. So. Awesome. Yes. Thanks, Lauren. Mm-hmm.